Howdy, howdy, everybody. HTEDC coming at you this Friday morning. Uh, who would have thunk it? The sun's out this morning. Uh, it's been raining here for about the last three or four days, so seeing some sunshine is a, uh, a welcome thing. Obviously, we're indoors. I'm not taking advantage of it right now. It's uh, in the 40s here this morning, so if we shoot a video later on today, maybe we can get out there and take some advantage, some outside footage, but uh, we're indoors uh, right now. But uh, just want to show Brother Randy over at Georgia Adventure. Drop down here real quick. What do you think, Randy? I think I, uh, I think I told him the other day uh, in a video. He uh, he just got a uh, a tumbler from a friend at work that had that on there. Uh, that same saying: uh, caution may uh, suddenly uh, start talking about knives. So I seen that in one of his videos, and I got a chuckle out of that. I said, "Well, I got a T-shirt." Uh, in the same thing. So that one was for you, kind of an inside thing there, uh, Brother Randy. If you watched his video the other day, you seen his uh, his mug that someone gave him that had that same uh, saying on it. And uh, I had a friend make me this t-shirt. So anyway, kind of an inside thing there. Moving on. So anyway, I want to do uh, another rendition. Let's move this camera up just a little. Uh, of fixed blade Friday. And I actually have two, uh, of the same model, which is something I don't normally do. I know a lot of people like a knife and they'll buy one to carry and one to keep or one just in case one gets lost. I'm typically not that guy. Now don't get me wrong. I will, you know, I have multiple trappers. I have multiple, uh, Barlow's or whatever, but I'm talking about the exact same model and in this case in a fixed blade the exact same fixed blade But this little booger uh, that I'm gonna show you uh, kind of Well, it's an outlier because I did buy two of them um, One of them I kind of personalized a little bit and it kind of stays uh, in a knife case I actually have it in my my bedroom in a case. I have carried it. I will pull it out and carry it but its normal home is uh, in a display case, and I did get another one for uh, actually daily carrying, and enough babbling about it. What we're going to show you all today is the Benchmade, and we'll come back to the, the sheaths here in a minute. Really cool leather sheath on this one, but the one I want to show you is the Benchmade. Hidden Canyon Hunter. You guys see the old, you guys know the Benchmade logo, or most of you do. I know a lot of people that follow my channel, you know, uh, I, I'm i pretty heavy in the traditional uh, knives, but uh, like I said, I do have some moderns and I do have quite a fixed blade collection. And this little fixie right here is one that I just really dig. Uh, we have... Uh, of course, we have a lanyard hole back here. I put a little HT lanyard job on there. But these uh, handles are diamond wood. They are a, you know, a wood laminate veneer kind of uh, material. Um, very hardy. Um, they use this stuff where, you know, especially this is, this is directed as a skinning knife, a hunting knife. So, you know, you're going to get it wet. You're going to, you know fluids you know we won't say that word but everyone not everybody knows what we're talking about in skinning animals uh, if it gets wet uh, it's not going to swell it's not going to crack and it has the uh, the real good wood look to it don't know how much that'll come through on camera but it does have a very nice grain uh, you have some scalloped parts right here where you can pinch up on that see that coming through you have one of those on each side so you can kind of pinch up here but anyway, check out this spine, folks. Uh, of course, it is a, a full tang. This, um, the, it's a full tang fixed blade. And along the handle here, we have these ridges that are, you know, really soft and rounded over. Uh, feels really good in hand when you're gripping down on those. Uh, maybe gives you a little extra grip. Uh, not that I think is really needed, but just kind of more of an aesthetic touch. May add a little grip. 
But as you come up here, you see that they have put thumb jimping and they have some index finger jimping because again, this is a hunting knife. And look at that. You come up here and you're doing your intricate work inside your animal. You got some nice jimping up there for that index finger. And when you're back here pushing through, you got some nice uh, power right there, you know, lock in on that thumb. But uh, just a beautiful, beautiful little uh, fixed blade knife from Benchmade. And personally, uh, if I ever skin uh, clean to animal with this, if I have, it's only once, I'm going to be totally honest, it's not my go-to skinning knife. I think I have used it once and skinned uh, an animal with it. But man, I, I EDC this thing. You guys that are into the EDC fixed blades, this is fantastic. Uh, it carries well. It's light. I mean, let's look, look at this thing in hand. Just enough, just enough to get that four finger a landing spot back there. I'll show it to you in this hand. Maybe better for the camera. But uh, boom. Get up on there and you are, you are locked in. That's what it looks like in hand with my hand. And I have extra, extra large size, uh, large, extra large uh, glove size hand. So if you have a big, humongous mitt, this pinky may be coming off the, you know, the end a little bit. But for most of us with a, a large to extra large hands or smaller, you're going to get all four fingers on this thing good. Again, I added a little lanyard on here. If I were to have to come back or something, I got a little something there for my pinky to land on. If I'm a grip that I need to, you know, come back on the knife, which is rarely. <laughs> Again, that's more for aesthetics and uh, actually to draw it out of my sheath is the main reason I put the lanyard on there. It's just to have something to draw in the sheet, uh, draw on the knife out to grab and go really quick. But uh, you see here, they've got a real nice... Uh, Sharpening choil on this thing. Golf clap. If you guys watch uh, my videos, you know I am a big sharpening choil fan. Uh, knives that don't have them, I usually uh, modify them and uh, add them myself. So uh, makers that get that right and give me that sharpening choil right out of the box, I love it. Two thumbs up. But anyway, folks, uh, if I hadn't mentioned the blade steel, it's right here. It's really small print up there, but that says S30V. So it is a powdered steel that they use on this guy. So you're going to get a little better edge retention over, you know, the standard 420 uh, HC, the house steel from Buck, which is totally fine. I have no problem. I have a ton, crap ton of 420 HC. The Buck, the Boss heat treated 420 HC. I think it is really good steel. This is just a a bump up with edge retention that they did on this. So anyway, show you the sheath that I, that I run this one in. This one's kind of the wood handles or whatever. So on this particular one, I went with a nice leather sheath. Take a look at that. That's what it looks like. Has your snap here to lock it in and pop that snap. And well, in my case, grab that lanyard and out you come. But it is just a beautiful, look at that stitching, look at those welts, and as uh, far as I know, this is a U.S. made. I believe Benchmade makes everything here in the States now. So just uh, for you leather guys out there, I think y'all would say that is a, a beautiful little sheath. And of course has the, uh, you see how deep this rides right here. Your knife doesn't come up past your belt, so that's going to ride really nice on your belt uh, not be poking us big guys in the love handles but uh, that's the first one i want to show you second one the one i kind of keep in uh, my display case and this one i went with a kydex sheath which this sheath will work on that one I mean, it's the same knife interchangeable uh, so i bought one with the pretty leather and i got one with a little taco style sheath here and I have it set up with a, I believe this is made by Real Steel, a little pocket, little pocket uh, clip on this guy. So I pocket carry this knife. 
uh, or it's set up to pocket carry, slide it right down in your front or your back pocket, whatever. But I run this thing right in my front pocket. And uh, when I EDC this guy, I'll show it to you in the sheath here. But yeah, just a little, this is another option you can get them with. Again, I added, I added the little uh, clip on here, but you can get them in this nice taco uh, style sheath Kydex. But this knife, same thing. Got me a little lanyard on here. Uh, but this one is in uh, black and gray G10 handles. Layered G10, really nice. Uh, you can actually feel the little uh, layers in here of the G10. I'm sure my camera won't do it justice. But uh, same exact knife, folks. Same steel, S30V. And on this one, uh, I actually bought this one for my birthday. It looks back in August of 2020. And I put my initials on it. But yeah, just the same knife. Same pinch points. Same jimping. And... Uh, Actually, this one is a little different. If you remember the other one, the little sp the spine of the knife had kind of the little rounded humps. Well, this particular knife, I guess they went to uh, kind of a squared off, kind of a gear look right here on this uh, this spine work. This uh, They worked the uh, spine of the fixed blade. And on this one, we got more of like a gear pattern where the other one were more kind of ridges and humps, if you remember. Well, you don't have to remember. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's the old one with the rounded ridges. Here's this one with the uh, squared off, more gear-like ridges. But anyway, same knife. Obviously, uh, this knife spoke to me. I got two of them. I kind of got one personalized and dressed up, and I kind of keep this one nice. And I EDC the fire out of that uh, that other one. So anyway, folks, the Benchmade Hidden Canyon Hunter for Fixed Blade Friday. Uh, I think they're fantastic. Obviously meant for you hunters uh, out there, but this is would be a fantastic, I'm telling you, is a fantastic little EDC carry also for the guys that uh, like carrying an EDC Fixed Blade. Anyway, we're getting long in the tooth. We're going to get out of here. Thank you guys. If you've watched the video this far, uh, if nothing else, hit that like button for me. It takes one second. Hit that like button for me. And right down here, if you're enjoying my content, consider subscribing to HTZDC. Love to have you. Drop me a comment. Tell me what you think about this little booger. You like it? Uh, let's chop it up. God bless you, and uh, you guys have an awesome weekend. HT, signing off.